Hello everyone, Shinto Bean here playing some more Warhammer Combat Cards campaign mode and this weekend we have another three day exploration and this one is introducing a new modifier which uh, has weather conditions which uh, cycle throughout the match. Uh, there are three different ones. We've got clear skies, and you can see the text at the bottom there, uh, which gives all deployed cards plus 50% ranged attack and then there's heavy fog which reduces the ranged attack but increases melee and then Torrential Rain, which uh, completely disables cards from using their ranged attack. And then if they would use a ranged attack, they ready instead. Now, we're playing as Tau all three days, and Tau really rely on ranged, so this weather can uh, severely interfere with uh, your ranged attacks, making it pretty tricky. On the first day, we're uh, playing as Tau against Space Marines, and then for the next two days, uh, we're up against the Necrons. I've seen a little bit of player feedback about this, and it seems like a lot of people are complaining they don't really like the weather effects. Uh, we'll play a match here uh, on the boss level, and I believe it is against uh, Captain Acheron, so one of the more annoying Space Marine Warlords to face. Now the mission rewards for this campaign are this hunk of junk, the Remora Drone Stealth Fighter with Target Acquired. I have not used this card a single time in Ranked or anything, uh, but there it is. Now, in the shop, though, there is a new card which introduces Medicaid to the Tau faction, finally. We've got the little Pathfinder with Medicaid. I actually purchased the bundle. Unfortunately, uh, you do have to spend money on this, which is a shame because it is so much better than the actual mission reward here. Uh, this guy, and I can show to you, it's in the deck that I'm using. Uh, he... Yeah, he's only 6 points for Medicaid, and that makes him a very cost-efficient card. In general, cheap Medicaid cards are very much worth having. And pretty much, I think, in my opinion, he could probably make any deck better by just throwing him in there. And 6 points, I mean, it's easy to fit him into pretty much any sort of deck. So, uh, for this exploration specifically, uh, Aonva, I think, will be one of the better Warlords, especially against the Necrons, uh, because of special rule. Um, and... Yeah, I've just thrown in a bunch of battle suits and some crutes here. I do have a few points left over, uh, but I think this is a, a solid build. It would be nice to have a little more barrage, but unfortunately, a lot of the barrage cards actually don't have any melee attack. And Aonva definitely combos better with cards that have both ranged and melee. So anyway, we'll go ahead and deploy here, and we'll see how this works out. And part of the reason I've included all eight bodyguards is just in the event that we come up against uh, Captain uh, or watch Captain Artemis, it can help to sort of reduce the damage from his SR. Uh, also, just having more bodyguards gives you more um, kind of more total health, uh, which just helps you survive. Now, shields don't actually work very well with uh, Alnva, but. Uh, I just wanted to go with the, the cards with a melee attack as well. So we'll just throw that guy down at the beginning. I, can, I guess we can throw him across from the target acquired thing. And we're starting off with the clear skies, I guess. So ranged attacks will be boosted. We'll see what actually happens here. Now throw down that battle suit. And I think we could go with... I think we do want to heal up the broadside battle suit. Um, debating whether to deploy it now, but sure, we'll, we'll just put it down. We'll see if they actually go ranged. They do have a few ranged units on the field. Lots of ultramarines. So there's the range boost. They are going ranged, okay. Uh, that's That should be pretty good, actually, for us. Alright, so... The, uh, I forget which uh, battle suit that's called, but... Uh, this thing... Yeah, the, the shield suit. Uh, it uh, had a pretty good counterattack there. We got the fog now. You can see what the weather effect does here if you uh, click on the little icon. So now we're getting reduced ranged, uh, but increased melee. And of course, Tau normally have really terrible melee. But with Anva, once they start attacking with melee, your units will increase uh, their attack power by quite a bit. Now we are going to go ranged though because we have the barrage in the center. That will just help clear out uh, these marines. So you can see here, actually very nice use of Barrage. And able to clear the board. 
Now that means the next weather event is going to be the Torrential Rain, which disables the ranged attack. So there's the little effect, and uh, we'll see what they go for. It does look like they have some repeating units. There's the new ATV. You can actually get a few copies of that as part of the rewards for this exploration. And there is a Chaos Hellhound. I'm not sure what that's doing in here. Okay. And they are going for the melee attack, so they will take out the uh, the shield suit, unfortunately. I'm hitting back with a, kind of a weak um, melee attack there. Alright, we got the clear skies. Okay, that was actually pretty good timing. Um, sure, we'll just go for some healing here. Healing does actually combo quite well with uh, Anva as well. This gives them more health so that they can get more out of the uh, special rule. Uh, we'll go ahead and use the ranged attack, I think, since it is getting buffed. Uh, we are going to take fair rate of damage in return, and that will in turn increase uh, the ranged attack, but we are getting pretty low on health. They do have a big ranged attack charged up. Um, we've got the heavy fog now, so that reduces the range they are uh, choosing. The ranged attack and this is actually just working out really nicely for me <laughs> with the, the weather just happens to be like the best conditions uh, for the Tau in this match <laughs> this matchup so getting really lucky here and the barrage is really helping to just clear these guys out now uh, and of course right when I say that uh, the weather changes so that we can no longer use so you can see I'm selecting ranged right now but uh, it just results in redding now that does mean that the enemy will not be able to counterattack at all with ranged as well you can see if you zoom in on the card the ranged attack is just completely gone and replaced by the uh, ready icon so I mean we could go either psychic or ranged uh, let's see I think or actually we could go melee as well Ah, uh, sure, why not? I mean, I guess we'll just go melee. And take down the ATV. Unfortunately, that uh, little medic was not able to kill the uh, Hellhound. Still not sure what that thing is doing in this Space Marine deck. Clear skies now with Marnius Kalgar coming to the field. So this is going to be pretty painful, I think. But they're going melee, so at least the Ghost Kill Battle suit survives. But yeah, the, the weather definitely makes it uh, really tricky. Got the fog now, so reduced ranged attack. Uh, and they do have a big melee card on the field. Um, let's see here. This thing is actually really strong. Um, I don't even know what I want to do. I guess we'll go with this guy. How much attack does Marnius have? Uh, but getting through the shields on Akron himself is going to be annoying. Okay, I guess we'll just go like this, and yep, this is not great. Maybe I should have kept the uh, ghost kill battle suit in the other lane. Honestly, do you want to go melee here? Ugh, this is this is terrible. Okay, I can see why people are complaining. You'd think that the Tau would have, you know, with all their technology, would have come up with a, a way to actually deal with the weather by now, in the year 40,000, but I guess not. Alright, Akron is finally deploying to the field, and we'll see what happens. It's going to be difficult, I think, to actually get through this stuff. Now, the uh, ranged attack is disabled because of the rain, but they can just pound away with the melee, do a hell of a lot of damage, and the suppressor is debuffing. Uh, the it's debuffing the uh, the melee attack on my side, so not a great situation. Akron still has one shield remaining. We got clear skies. Uh, let's see. Well, wait, what? Okay, I guess it hasn't taken effect yet. Clear skies, but um, the issue is uh, this suppressor can still survive one turn, even if we manage to kill it, and it's just going to counterattack for a lot of damage. Yeah, this is uh, really not great. But, I mean, going melee is is going to be painful. So, we'll just go with the ranged attack. I managed to deal one damage 
to Acheron after breaking the shield. Um, yeah. yeah. The shield change did take effect, so... Um, yeah, I think we're probably going to lose this one, honestly. I'm guessing they'll go melee here. Which would allow us to take out the suppressor, at least. But, um... It's going to be difficult to survive. The Kroot Shaper going down to Marnius Calgar. There's no way we're going to kill Marnius. I mean, he's just way too strong. So now, Aunva himself will deploy to the field, and he is pretty bad. I mean, he's got melee. He could actually counterattack for a lot of melee damage, but... Uh, no ranged, and of course we can't even go ranged anyway because of the rain. So, I don't know, do we want to go for the... Nah. The thing about Aunva is he's actually... Um, better, like, going second, because uh, after the enemy attacks you, he deals more damage with the counterattack, so sometimes redding is actually a, a good idea with him, rather than just going for uh, the, the ranged attack, and now they're going psychic, so it looks like we've actually gotten them to a point where they can no longer uh, attack, I guess, at least with the clear skies, that, whoa, this thing is, I think it has a lot of damage. Alright, so actually, uh, I think we're going to pull this off. So, uh, let's go with the ranged here. Broadside battle suit just does a lot of damage. It's taken a lot of damage, so that's why it's dealing so much damage. And now we should be able to finish off Akron next turn. Uh, with either ranged or melee. So, tough battle. Uh, but we did manage to pull it off. Now, if you don't have Anva, I think this uh, exploration could be quite a bit more difficult. Just go with the melee here. I started off the few matches as Dark Strider because I didn't know what I was doing, and I didn't really have any issues with him, but the weather can actually disable his special rule from activating. I think if the torrential rain is up, uh, your units will not actually use the ranged attack when shifting lanes, so... Go ahead and claim that reward, but... I'd like to hear your opinions about this uh, exploration if you're playing through it. What do you think about these weather effects? Uh, are you enjoying the exploration or do you think it is a boring slog? Let me know in the comments and if you have any questions, of course, feel free to ask. But that's it for this one. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.